Hello students, welcome to class 6 English. Let us move on to poem 3 that is kindness to animals. The poet mentioned here is anonymous. Let us see what anonymous means. Students, here in this poem, the poet is unidentified, means nameless. That represents, that means anonymous. Anonymous means where the names are not represented. The poet doesn't want to make a mark of his name. Such person, such poet, where poets are not expressing their names, we call them as anonymous. Introduction to the poem. Here the poem is in the rhyme scheme. What exactly is a rhyme scheme? We call it as ode. That means the last words of the lines has a similar tone of recitation. For example, give, live, come home. So here in this poem, the poet asks the children not to give pain to things that feel and live. We shouldn't trouble the little creatures which are very gentle towards us. We need to be kind to animals. First stanza, this poet speaks about the gentle robins. Now, as I read on the poem, you will refer to page number 50 and then listen and understand the explanation. Little children never give pain to things that feel and live. Let the gentle robin come for the crumbs you save at home. Here, the poet asks the children not to give pain to things that live and feel, that which has life in it. And he asked to allow the robins to come home. Robin, what is a robin? A small brown bird marked with red color on its breast. So, when the robin comes home, so that you can give the crumbs that is saved at home, a small bread or a piece of cake can be given to it. With it, poet says that as his meat you throw along, he'll repay you with a song. Never hurt the timid hare peeping from her grass, green grass lair. So here, when you throw the crumbs of bread or a meat or a cake to it, how will the robins repay us? It will repay you with the song, says the poet. So it will sing a song for you. And you are never supposed to Hurt the timid hair. Timid is very mild, which gets easily frightened. So you are never supposed to hurt a hair. What is a hair? An animal like a rabbit, but slightly larger with longer ears. It doesn't look it doesn't look exactly like a rabbit, but still similarities are there. Which keeps peeping from the green grass. They look very timid and frightened. Let her combine sport and play. On the lawn at close of day, the little lark goes soaring high to the bright windows of the sky. Now, poet, as the children says, he requests the children to allow the hare to come and play on the lawn during the evening and you can watch it playing and entertain yourselves. The poet gives a vivid imagery of a little lark that goes soaring high into the bright sky where this bird, what is exactly a lark? A small brown bird that is noted for its singing. This bird goes very high in the sky singing. So the poet speaks about the hare and the lark here in the stanza. Singing as if it were always spring and fluttering on an untired wing. Oh, let him sing his happy song, nor do these gentle creatures wrong. In this stanza, the poet speaks about the gentleness of the creatures. Now, the lark sings cheerfully as if it were spring season. And the little lark is so active that he, doesn't, he does not get tired of fluttering and singing all day long, says the poet. Hence, the poet pleads with the children to let him sing his happy song and never do wrong and never to hurt or kill the gentle creatures. Through this poem, the poet gives a message that you need to be kind to animals. Thank you students. You need to read the poem to understand better from your textbook and then write the question answers and other exercise activities what I have given here in your English notes. As I said, the poem is in the rhyming words, rhyme scheme. Let us go through the rhyming words what you have come across in the poem. It's give, live, come, home, along, song, 
हेर लेर प्ले जे हाई स्काय स्प्रिंग विंग सॉन्ग रॉन्ग वेन यू गो थ्रू द पोएम इन युअर टेक्स्ट बुक यू विल फाइंड दीज वर्ड्स एट द एंड ऑफ ईच लाइन ऑफ द पोएम गो थ्रू इट एंड अंडरस्टैंड इट